Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 7 in Power BI playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about some basic concepts in Power BI service. So there are couple of concepts or elements available inside the Power BI service. You should have a knowledge on them. So you should know what it is. So there are something called workspaces, reports, dashboards, data sets and workbooks. So one should have a knowledge on these concepts. So what is workspace? What is report? What is dashboard? I am going to explain this in detail in this video. Okay. So if you have already watched my previous videos by this time, uh, you know how to sign up for the Power BI service account. And also you know how to create a report in the Power BI desktop and publish that report into Power BI service. So if you haven't watched that, please watch those video to get maximum out of this video. Okay. So let me go to my Power BI service. So this is my Power BI account. So what I did, so there is something called workspaces here, right? So first, if you have watched my previous video, by this time you already know what is workspace. Workspace is nothing but like a think like a folder or a container which will hold your data. So when I say your data in Power BI service, you can keep your reports, dashboards, data sets, workbooks and all. So all this data can be placed inside workspaces since this is like a container, okay? And there are two types of workspaces available. One will be like my workspace. Another will be like workspaces area where you can create new workspace and you can collaborate. So the difference is my workspace is the one which is something private to you. So it is your own workspace area or your own folder where you can keep your reports, your dashboards, your own reports, your dashboards. Okay. And these workspaces where you can create a new workspace and you can work, it is like a, it is for the project, it is for the team actually. So if I have five members in my team and my project name is ABCD, then what I can do, I can create a ABCD workspace and all the five members will be having access to that ABCD workspace. And in that workspace, we will start creating our reports and dashboards and everything. So that's how it will work. Okay. So now. Uh, what I did is in my Power BI desktop, I have already created a sample report. This report we created, I think in our part three or part second. So please watch that. So this report, which I created already, this I was already published into my workspace. So when I go my workspace all, I could see a sample report. Observe this type. This is a report. This is a data set. Okay. So data set is nothing but like a data which you are showing on the report. So you to show something on the report on a visual, you need a data, right? So that data set it is. So this visual, this uh, in the Power BI desktop, if I go to this data tab, this is where you can see your data as well. So my data is a financial uh, Excel sheet actually, which I have in my local system. So that Excel sheet I have uploaded there and I have created a, so this is the Excel sheet, okay? So this is the Excel sheet to which I connected using the Power BI desktop and then created this sample report from that data, okay? So now this Excel sheet data, whatever we added into Power BI desktop and then created the report, that data will get add, add, added as a data set here. Okay. So what is data set? Data set is nothing but like a data which you uh, provided for the Power BI so that with that data you can create a report. So for example, this report is already created with this data set. So can I create another report from this data set? The answer is yes. So you can, so let me do this here. So when I click this three, three dots here, it will give you the options. So here I can select this create report and I can create a new report now. So now I'm creating a report on the Power BI service itself directly instead of doing it in the Power BI desktop. So let me select this donut chart. So maybe I am going to create a new report which will contain this donut chart and I want to see profit, profit information by segment. So in each segment, how much profit we have. So in government segment, what is the profit? Uh, and uh, if I zoom here, so you can see right in government segment, what is the profit? Small, small business segment, what is the profit? Bid market section or segment, what is the profit? So a sample report I just created. So like this, you can create your report also. Um, you can create multiple reports from a single data set that is possible. Okay. And also, Reports will be containing pages actually. See this report right now contains one page called page one. If you want to create another page in this report, you can add a new page and maybe you can use some other type of visual 
and maybe use some other type of information here so maybe let me do so i'm just dragging uh, i'm just placing some data here randomly okay let me remove this maybe the same thing uh, I, i want to see the profit by sales in in the in the in the line chart so let me do this see like this okay so this is the second page in the same report so like this you can do that okay so once you create once you are done with this your report if you want to save uh, you can click this save button here you can name it like this is like sample report 2 okay so let me save this report as well so this report contains two pages so now you might have an idea what is report report is nothing but like a your final output which will contain visuals and everything to represent the data right and inside the reports you can have multiple pages so when i navigate to this report i have two pages here page 1 and page 2 you can see here right so like this so now you already know what is report what is data set then what is dashboard so in our previous video we have created a sample dashboard right so dashboard is something like a it's a uh, it's a overview kind of area or a canvas area where you can pin visuals from different different reports onto that dashboard so let me practically show you that so let me go to my workspace right now i don't have any dashboard here i have one report uh, sorry two reports and one data set so what i can do let me go to this report sample report and maybe let me go to go in edit mode so once i click this in edit mode so now i have two visuals in this report right so this is this is sales by date this is profit by date so what i can do uh, maybe i want this visual which is there inside this sample report i want this visual to be pinned as a tile in my dashboard so to do that i can select this pin visible and immediately it will ask you to okay so you want to create a new dashboard yes and uh, maybe le let's say like this like my dashboard so that is what i will give a name and let me pin this so right now i am creating a dashboard which will contain one tile there in that tile i am trying to show this visual so let me go to dashboard and show you that so to do that let me go to my workspace okay let me save this changes so let me go back to my workspace and see here a dashboard got created the name is my dashboard if i open this dashboard you can see that visual is pinned here you can see here is it is pinned here as a tile right uh, you can move these tiles here anywhere okay so what if if i want to pin or create another tile on this dashboard from another report is it possible yes so what i can do i can go to my workspace this time i will open another report sample report 2 and this time maybe i want to pin this one profit by segment so this visual i want to pin so whenever i try to pin the visual it will ask you okay in which dashboard you want to pin select that dashboard and simply click this pin button so this is going to add this visuals on to your dashboard now if i go to dashboard i can see that donut chart also here right so different different visuals from different different reports can be pinned as a tiles onto your dashboard and whenever you click any visual or a tile on the dashboard it will actually take you back to that report so if i click this profit by donut one it will actually take me back to that report which created that visual see this is how it will work okay so now let's go back to our presentation now we know what is dashboard also let's understand what is this workbook so workbook is nothing but like a excel sheet actually so what you can do you can upload your excels into your power bi workspace and then you can start working on that excel as if you are working like on excel online service so let me practically show you that so that it will make sense so let me click this get data button here and then let me select this files because i want to upload a excel file let me click local file because i i have that excel in my local now i have this financial sample excel file let me open this and this time here i don't want to import this excel data directly into power bi if you do that what will happen this excel data will be imported as a data set what i want to do i want to upload this excel file as it is into power bi service to do that select this upload button once you do that what will happen this excel file will get uploaded as a workbook into your power bi workspace now if you see here uh, your financial sample excel sheet is available here as a workbook so workbook is nothing but like a excel which is uploaded into your workspace 
and the moment you do that what you can do from there you can open that excel in the power bi service itself directly in excel online service and you can start do your edits and whatever you want to do okay so that is the only thing uh, nothing much about this workbooks to worry okay so hope you got a basic idea like what is workspace what is report what is dashboard what is data set and what is workbook in this video so this is very required for us to going to move forward with uh, new new concepts in the power bi service so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much